today we will learn perimeter of adjoining figures perimeter is derived from the words peri and metron peri means around and metron means measure in this way the total length of a boundary of a closed figure is called its perimeter look at this figure the total length of its boundary can be obtained by addition of ab plus bc plus cd plus da this addition will be called the perimeter of this figure today let's learn to find the perimeter of enclosed figures made of squares and rectangles take a paper draw a square pqrs with side 5 cm on it can you tell what will be its perimeter think think exactly to find its perimeter we have to add the lengths of all its four sides but all the sides of square are equal so the perimeter of the square 4 multiplied by length of a side if you know the length of the side of a square then by using this formula you can find the perimeter of that square in this way the perimeter of square pqrs will be 4 multiplied by 5 cm is equal to 20 cm now you can draw a rectangle jklm with 3 cm length and 2 cm breadth on paper can you tell me what will be the perimeter of this rectangle think think here also the perimeter of the rectangle will be sum of the lengths of all its sides but the opposite sides of the rectangle are equal as jk is equal to lm and kl is equal to mj so we can say that the perimeter of the rectangle is 2 multiplied by jk plus kl if we term the side jk as the length of the rectangle and the side kl as the width of the rectangle then the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by length plus width if you know the length and width of a rectangle then you can find the perimeter of that rectangle using this formula for example the perimeter of the rectangle jklm will be 2 multiplied by 2 cm plus 3 cm is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 cm is equal to 10 cm now imagine if we cut the square pqrs and the rectangle jklm from paper and keep them adjacent then what will be the perimeter of the new shape pqrklm to be created think think let me tell you first of all point s and point j are coming at each other so we will name only one of them like here we will call this point as point s here we get a new shape pqrklm by putting both the shapes together its perimeter will be length of its boundary to find out we have to sum the lengths of all its sides here pq is equal to qr the side of the square pqrs is equal to 5 cm can you tell how we can find the length of the rk think think absolutely right rk is equal to rs minus sk is equal to 5 cm minus 2 cm is equal to 3 cm kl is equal to 3 cm similarly lm is equal to 2 cm similarly mp is equal to ms plus sp is equal to 3 cm plus 5 cm is equal to 8 cm in this way the perimeter of figure pqr klm will be pq plus qr plus rk plus kl plus lm plus mp is equal to 26 cm just think 
Can we add the perimeter of a square and the perimeter of a rectangle? No. If we sum their perimeter, then the result is 20 cm plus 10 cm is equal to 30 cm. The perimeters are different in both the cases. Therefore, it is wrong to derive the perimeter of the enclosed shape by the sum of the perimeters of shapes forming it. You must find out the reason for this by discussing it with your teacher. Now, find out for yourself that if we enclose the rectangle in this way, in this way or in such a way, will we get the same perimeter in each case? Today we have learned the perimeter of adjoining figures. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to them.